hey guys um big, big news for me um i recently moved um as hence by my new room check it out i am my bed's a mess and yeah so i'm living in the basement essentially got my own personal tv ps3 and stuff and so forth you got some retro harmonicas from the barber and uh, my hats and also this is really cool i actually got a friend of mine went to a spa convention, which is basically a harmonica convention up in Denver. And it's going to be in San Antonio next year. And he got me this poster, but also he got me an autograph from my favorite harmonica player, Kim Wilson. And that, that one's pretty big for me. So, so thank you to Jim Vetter. And yeah, this is just incredibly honoring of him. Thank you so much. Anyway, that's my room. And that's what I recently... What I recently got from a friend, what I recently bought is a completely different story. What I recently bought was a um, was two harmonicas. One I am familiar with, and another I am not familiar with. I mean, not as familiar with as I play, I play them. So one of them is the Blues Bender. The Blues Bender is a um, professional harmonica, and even though on the enthusiast side, it's it's very good for like country and blues singers and stuff like that so i highly recommend this for like starter harmonica players um anybody who wants to kind of get involved with that and be and just kind of see you know what let's let's check these out see see what kind of stuff i've been missing because like if you go to something like um like a silver star blues band hot metal or pocket pal they're going to be at the cheaper end of the scale they're not going to be that very good blues benders are very good and i do highly recommend them um, th this was actually my first harmonica, not not this um, th exact copy, but the type of the type of harmonica, the Blues Bender, was my first professional grade harmonica, and I've always loved them. So, and I and I trust and I trust the Blues Benders. Now the next one is uh, is a brand new one uh, from Honer. It's called uh, the Tagged series. This is what it looks like. It's um, paying homage to like street performers and street artists. So the stuff that they kind of do, so it's basically a professional grade harmonica, but it's targeted at like my generation and generations younger than than me. So like freshmen in high school, um, eighth to sixth graders, maybe some fifth graders and stuff like that. Really, just later elementary school and middle school and early high school. If you're looking at somebody like me who is about to graduate high school in about a year. Then this is not going to be that bit that much of a de big deal, but um, as a person who plays professional grade harmonicas, it's not that bad. Anyway, so let, so let's uh let's check these out. I did play them a little bit just to kind of test them out. That's kind of the key to what you're supposed to do as a harmonic player. You're supposed to break in your harmonicas. So so I broke them in a little bit, and they play very nice. This one is the tagged series. This one's the tagged series. It's very. It's very graffiti esque, I must say, and it's a very, it's a very, uh, of course, colorful harmonica. And um, this is this is one to kind, of, this is one that you can play on gigs and stuff like that. So, if you're wondering, hey, if if this is good to use with a harmonica microphone, if this is good to use um, with a regular microphone on stage, if I need to bust out one, this will be a good harmonica to use, and um, they're. Very, they're very durable. They're very um, airtight. And um, at first, when I bought this, I thought it was just going to be like a cheap old harmonica. But for some reason, um, I saw Ronnie Shellist, who was at the uh, NAM convention, which is a big like music convention. He works for Honer. Uh, he's he's got a channel on YouTube. Go check out Ronnie Shellist um, on on YouTube. See how, see what he's all about. He teaches harmonica and stuff like that, and uh, gives you tips and uh, tells you what you should do. To your harmonicas to kind of better them and yeah so definitely check out Ronnie Shellist but um but these are definitely very good harmonicas um, I'll play this a little bit but then again I gotta get to my old friend the blues bender I gotta get to my old friend and I love the fact that it's like it's like the most prestigious kind of case that you could possibly get with a harmonica even though this thing costs about like 17 bucks this the tag series costs 20 this one costs 17 I usually spend like about forty to forty to thirty bucks on my harmonicas. So once again, these these are good changes of pace. These are both good starter harmonicas and good professional harmonicas. I highly recommend them. 
But um, but one to kind of mess. But really, it's the Blues Banner that you really shouldn't be paying attention to. The Tag Series. This is kind of one to just like really just kind of carry around. But if you need to bust out during a gig, you're more than welcome to. So anyway, so anyway, um, and a Blues Bender, the name the name for it, um, and also PAC, which means Pat Patented Acoustic Covers. Let's see, Blues Bender PAC, and that means that it's capable of giving bending power like a marine band. So like um, well, I gotta dig it out here. So like uh, here's a marine band. <laughs> And also, these are all in the keys of A. I'm, I mean, of course, I got more harmonicas than that, but I just said, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna stick to one key right now, see how they work out. And these are, and the Blues Bender, Marine Band, and the um, Tag Series are all in the key of A. So, um, so, so the, Mar so the Marine Band, um, the, I've had this one for a while, and I, and I realized it's starting to wear a bit thin, so I need to get a new one. And um, I do recommend these, but not to the whole, fullest extent. Like um, I've had this for about a couple of years. The bend, the backs will bend. And if you look at something like um, like a Marine Band Deluxe, which is exactly what it sounds like, an upgrade. You see that the back is open, and the back will not bend that much. This one is bent a little bit, but not an, a whole awful lot. Cause like I don't, I press down like hard. That's my pro that's my problem. That's one thing that you really need to look out for. If you're a guy or a gal that really presses hard on your instruments, that's what one thing you need to look out for. But with the with the tag series and the blues bender, they're kind of modeled after special twenties in a sense. Because they have back supports. Right right here. Yeah, and also I got no door, so yeah, this is live. Anyway, um they have back supports. So this way, so this way you don't really exactly crush them to, to oblivion. So, so anyway, um, I'm gonna play them both. I'm gonna start off with my old friend the blues bender and, um, and see how you guys like it. It's got a very mellow tone. Um, it's got side vents like a marine band, and uh, these are really good harmonicas. I definitely do recommend these. But then again, it's a bit of a softer tone. So if you're wanting somebody with uh, like a really sharp tone, like a marine band or maybe even um, a blues band, this is the key. D. Then um, then you're gonna want wood comb harmonicas. You're gonna have to go a bit up and price those. But other than that. Um, this is, these are really good harps. I highly do recommend them. My first one was in the key of a D, and now this one is in the key of A. So we kind of up, we kind of either downgraded or upgraded. It all depends on how you hear it. So. <laughs> so I highly, so blues benders highly recommend for starter harmonica players. And now here is the. Tag series, and oddly enough, it's actually a very hefty harmonica, even though it looks completely like a toy. So, let's check it out. So yeah, the tag series are very good harmonicas. They, once again, this one cost me this one cost me twenty bucks, and um, it was very for these are very affordable. These are very stylish, obviously, and yeah, I definitely recommend anybody get these. Anybody get these for like Christmas, birthdays, um, Valentine's Day, Easter, anytime you might want to give gifts. The Easter Bunny might want to give gifts. I don't know, Cupid as well, but um, but yet yeah, if I have to prefer one. I only know if it's going to be the tag series because 
they perform very very well and so yeah anyway I'm gonna end this off by uh, pl playing it through my amplifier here so anyway see you guys later enjoy <laughs>